Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Crimson Tide. What do you know about this movie? Well, this is a submarine film. Yeah, I believe this is our third sub film on the channel. Yes, we did Hunt for Red October and Das Boat. Das Boat. Das Boat. Das Boat. I yes. believe it's Das Boat. The German film. <laughs> <laughs> the very long submarine movie. Yes. And this won our war Patreon poll. So we would like to thank all our patrons who voted for this to win our war Patreon poll. I don't really know what this movie is about, but from what I've seen from the comments, the cast is pretty stacked. Okay, yeah, I think the only person I know that's in it is Denzel Washington. Yes, one of my favorite actors for sure. Yeah, no, he's great in everything that he does. I don't know if I've seen a ton of his films. Okay, probably one of my favorites might be, well, Remember the Titans is amazing. Okay, yes, absolutely <laughs> seen Remember the Titans. And then I think it's called Man on Fire or something. I know for a fact that's one of my mom's favorite films. I have not seen that movie though. I think that's the name of it. It's yeah. a pretty intense movie. I think I've seen him on a train. Oh yeah, yeah he's got a train one. Yeah, Unstoppable. Yeah, maybe? maybe that. I don't know, fantastic actor. Yeah. Um, so I'm super excited to check this out. We've loved every submarine movie we've seen so far. Yeah. They're so tense and stressful. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Tony Scott, that would be A true, true Romance. That was oh, okay. Ridley Scott, it's his brother. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, Gene Hackman's in this too? Okay. Okay, so it's a nuclear. Massive bombing strikes against rebel positions. Ooh. My ears. This is Richard Valeriani reporting live for CNN. So uh, tensions are pretty high. That was a really interesting way to get us all that information. By right. having it be a reporter. A real reporter. And tear from the audience. Uh, me, me. Figo Mortensen. Preferably. I'm scared. Jeez. <laughs> now sit on the board, because if you believe in magic, he's missing it. Right. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Looks pretty bad. But anyone, including the Russian army, phone call means it's very, very bad. My exo has appendicitis. I need a good man to fill his spot. Your name was at the top of the list. Oh, that's good to know, sir. It was a short list. Is a compliment or not? <laughs> He approves of you. Dog's approval matters. Name's Bear. He goes every place with me. I like Bear. Welcome aboard the Alabama, son. Do me proud. I will, sir. I will kill 900,000 people. One to 900,000? Massive defections. Vladimir appears to be winning the hearts and minds of the Russian soldiers. So he's got his own little rogue army. They claim that Rysinko forces do not possess the launch code. Could launch against our West Coast direct. DEFCON 4. Lieutenant Commander Hunter is our new XO. How long before they get those codes? Uh, we served together on the Baton Rouge. Twice. We're lucky to have him. That was nice. Yeah, I like Vigo. This weather is awful. Right? Who played the German sub commander in the enemy below with Robert Mitchell? Sir. Wrong answer! Drop down and give me 20! Gotta know your movies. We don't know our movies. <laughs> <laughs> this might be our commander in chief's navy, but this is my boat. That strange sensation you'll be feeling in the seat of your pants will be my boot in your ass. Seems very likable. Yeah. Polo! All right. Where does the dog go to the bathroom? Just anywhere. <laughs> my last breath of polluted air for the next 65 days. I don't trust air I can't see. <laughs> Most eggheads want to talk it away. You stuck this one up a couple of points. <laughs> the very worst thing you can do is worry about yourself or try to impress me. I can't stand save asses and I won't abide kiss asses. I like him. Yeah, me too. It's good, sir. It's your first. Yeah. <laughs> Don't like it too much. They're more <laughs> expensive than drugs. Submarines are just so fascinating how they even freaking operate. One last deep breath. Crazy how they get down. I know. Day one. 
It makes me feel like we're gonna have a lot of days. You said 65, right? Third world countries, but atom bombs would love to drop one on us. That's right, that's why we should drop one on them. <laughs> you have a problem with us dropping <laughs> nuclear bombs in Japan? <laughs> Shut up, Doc. Just drop bombs everywhere. Think it was a mistake, Mr. Hunter? Well, if I thought that, sir, I wouldn't be here. Interesting way you put that. <laughs> How'd I put it, sir? Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got to rely on, Bina. Simple-minded son of a bitch. All I had to know is how to push it. They tell me when. I would hope they'd want us all to know why, sir. Does he like him or not? In the nuclear world, the true enemy is war itself. That was interesting. Yeah. First day chat. I can't really tell if the captain likes Hunter very much or not. It's on a jog. Yeah, he's training. In the kitchen? Yeah, what the hell? Fire in the galley! These cooks just fucked up. What the hell are they making? Oh my god! I'm throwing all those cooks overboard. How are they gonna eat? They're dead. They're like overboard. Oh, everyone in the <laughs> Everyone's dead, I guess so. Recommend alert one. Recommend alert one. I said drill, right? I feel like this is a great time to run a test after chaos like that. Mm hmm I agree. The message is properly formatted. Where's the XO? Sir. Good of you to make it, Mr. Hunter. This is a lot of steps, which I guess is good if you're dealing with nukes. Port approximate time for one SQ. 14 minutes, sir. Ship is at launch depth. Chief Petty Officer Marichek is going cardiac arrest. Oh. Jeez. They're gonna lose someone from this fire? It's okay, Chief. Just the smoke caused cardiac arrest or something? You think I got that man killed? No, sir. Would you run the drill? No, sir, I wouldn't. That's the best time to run a drill. I don't have any problems with questions or doubts. And if privacy doesn't permit itself, then you bite your fucking tongue. I didn't think anybody heard him. Probably not. They hear your voice right after mine, without hesitation. We're here to preserve democracy, not to practice it. A lot of valid points. Yeah, I just didn't think that anybody heard him. No, but... But he didn't, he was hesitating. It was Marichek's 300 pounds that killed him, not the fire. I mean, he was a... Uh... Heavier man. It was kind of unnecessary. Yeah. Does it make any sense to you to start a drill in the middle of a fire? Fire is out, wasn't it? He had those injuries before the fire was even out. Well, fight him, go ahead. You wanna get along? You gotta get to understand him a little bit. He's had his head up his ass driving ships for the last 25 years. Navy's all he's got. A little rat dog head. Hey. <laughs> Just saying, watch out. You do pants too. Well, I'm glad he had like a sounding board to kind of. Yeah. And someone that knows him, the captain. Con radio receiving emergency action message. Recommend alert one. Oh, this one doesn't say drill. Oh, the launch codes are compromised. Intel now indicates that those launch codes have been compromised. The last time we hit this state of emergency was 32 and a half years ago during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Great. It's got chills. Should our satellites detect? Rebel missiles being fueled will be compelled to act. They launch first. Setting us up for a potential preemptive strike. Keep your men informed. I'm sure they're freaking out. This is as real as it's ever been. Only 11 days in. <laughs> this kitchen sucks. I'm sorry, sir. It's just a difference of opinion that got out of hand. Kirby Silver Surfer was the only real Silver Surfer. Oh my gosh. Benefield's a big Mobius fan. He just got out of hand. I pushed him, he pushed me. Comics. You have to set an example even in the face of stupidity. Kirby Silver Surfer <laughs> is the only true Silver Surfer. You're right, sir. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, okay. That answers my question. I just witnessed a fight down in Cruz Mess. No big deal. Morale seems to be a bit low. You seem to have the pulse of the men. <laughs> okay. Every conversation between them, I'm like, is this good or bad? I know, I can't read him. Any crew member feels he can't handle the situation and leave the ship right now. <laughs> that DEFCON 3, war is imminent. That is all. Very inspiring, sir. 
All right, well, I think we have a clear picture of where they stand. I've got a broadband contact. Oh, shit. Possible submerged submarine bearing 049 designate master 28. Dive, make your depth 831 feet smoke. Aye, sir. I think that might be one of my favorite aspects of submarine are the, like the sonar engineers or whatever you would call them. Alert one, alert one, incoming emergency. Defcon two. Better or worse than three? Worse. They started at four. Okay, so one is like Everything. the end. <laughs> the authenticator. Man, they have this going on at the same time that there's a sub approaching. I like how everything's yeah. at such an angle. Echo, Echo, Charlie. I never see it. Where? It's at the very bottom. Okay. So you capped this missile key? They are so close to launching a nuke. Second condition, 1SQ for strategic missile launch. It has been authorized. This is the XO. Man, what happens if you forget that code to unlock? Coming through! Spin up missiles 1 through 5 and 20 through 24. Oh my gosh, I feel like he could just drop that so easily. Right? Why was he drops one of those keys? Seven of them also? Passing 550 Oh no. Radio con extend extremely low frequency antenna. They're not gonna be able to get a message now? Russian rebels. They will have launch capability in 60 minutes. This is as real as it gets. What's up so much as comes around or opens up a tube door, we're gonna take her out. This is a lot going on all at once. Yeah. Incoming EAM, we need to go shallow to reestablish communications. With that sub still up there? Yeah, what do you do? It's my intention to rise to launch depth, launch our birds, and then get the hell out of there. Yes, sir. So he's not going up until he's gonna launch. Keep it the watch, float the buoy. Float the radio buoy, I see. Will that give them away, though? I mean, if it's spotted, but I think there's a much less chance of that being spotted. But they need this message if they're gonna launch or not, right? Right. Estimated time to 1SQ, 8 minutes, 30 seconds, sir. Oh, crap. The buoy fails. That is so loud. Con Sonar, we have a sound short from the buoy winch. Stop the goddamn winch. Winch is stopped, sir. That just screamed their location. Sonar TSO, is that sound still out there? Sounds gone, sir. Man, somebody needs to design a soundproof winch. Getting something. Uh oh. He's coming around. Con Sonar, the Akul is turning towards, sir. Oh, it's already firing? Con Sonar, second torpedo in the water bearing two. Oh, shit. On a collision alarm. Break shut burn pack. Hang on your ass, gentlemen. Oh, God. 950 yards. Now they're getting a message. Come on, take the bait. Oh! Oh, that was right next to him, though. Wow. Man, his dog must be going through it in his room right now. Missile systems ready to launch in six minutes. Very well. I, was only I forgot that was even <laughs> happening. <laughs> to complete, sir. We lost it when the radio buoy cable got severed. Oh, my God. Mission, nuclear launch, proceed, cancel. Every second that we lose increases the chances that by the time our missiles arrive, their silos could be empty. That's Captain. our number one rule. It's a rule we follow without exception. Captain. This is a tough situation. That's why we maintain more than one sub. It's what they call redundancy. I know about redundancy, Mr. Hunter. I'm captain of this boat. Now shut the fuck up! Jeez. And he told him not to question him in front of the men. That's, he's been doing that for like the last five minutes. But I agree with Hunter. You should maybe try to figure out if you're supposed to fire or not. Remove Mr. Hunter from the control room. And I do not recognize your authority to relieve me under command. We cannot launch our missiles unless both you and I agree. Oh my. Poor Cobb. They're fueling their missiles. We don't have time to fuck around. I don't have to think this over. Relieve you of your command of this ship. Ooh. Captain Ramsey's under arrest. Block him in his stateroom. Now, Cobb. Aye, sir. Cobb. <laughs> Oh, God. Take the captain below. No one knows what to do. You're way out of your league, Hunter. Not ready to make tough decisions yet. And that was a pretty tough decision right there. Oh, man. That was so awkward. Yeah. I mean, the old captain wanted to launch nukes without all of the information. It's my intention to 
delay the missile launch. And in confirmation of an emergency action message that was cut off during the attack. Ooh, they are not happy. What are we doing, Fred? I don't know about you, but I'm pissing my pants. <laughs> it's pretty honest. Thank you, God. Fuck you. <laughs> Mr. Hunter, I'm not on your side. Now, you could be wrong. But that was completely improper. And that's why I did what I did. So much tension. <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous. It's already stressful enough launching nukes. Yeah. Hey, Vossel, we need communications, not smart-ass remarks. Oh, sure. If they can't even get a message anyways, then this is pointless. Oh, shit, it's right there. Hunter. 600 yards! No! Oh. 600 yards, those are gonna hit immediately. Give me max speed now. Maximum speed, yes! How the hell do you dodge missiles? Or torpedoes at 600 yards. What's a thousand yards for? Because it takes a thousand yards for torpedoes to arm, Jesus. <laughs> Zero, seven, four. These things are screaming right at him. Got a message away, sir. Rig ship for impact. Oof, they're going right over him. Oof. They missed. Half shot two and four. Those firing backwards? Oof. Holy shit. Well, that's one way to win over the crew. Oh my god, they're going like straight down. That didn't look like they hit. No, it just hit like oh. right above them, I think. Still gonna cause a lot of damage. Yeah, what the hell happened to their engine? Sir, we are going down. I need propulsion. Yeah, do you need an order to do that? Just do it. At 1850, it's all they over. gotta get back up. Passing 1600 feet. They don't have that much more time. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Take it easy. You're getting smushed. Now who's working on the propeller? Here then, can we? Oh, oh my god. Come on! No one's coming. And it is filling fast. That was a tough decision. The order hatch is sealed! Sir! Come maneuvering turbine power restored! Oh, get up! That was so sad. They were trying so hard to stop the leaking. How bad is it, Mr. Duggan? It's bad, sir. This is the combat he's been is a policy seminar. I mean, he just took out a sub. We gotta have Weps, he's the key. You get me those men, a small security force. Talk wow. about mutiny. I now be. Come on. Is he gonna be able to convince him? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. But I'd rather go down myself and get this one wrong. Yeah, seriously. Chanko is fueling his burst. Now, why do you think he's doing that? You don't put on a condom unless you're gonna fuck. Think about your family, man. I am. Give him a chance to just see what the latest message was. He says we cannot go without you. You know, your captain is asking for your help. What are you gonna do? He's not your captain anymore. All right. No. Russian missiles will have launch capability in 24 minutes. Oh my gosh, there really is no time. Just waiting for that message to come back saying cancel. Right? She's doing the right thing. Are they really still not within range to get the rest of this message? I think their shit was messed up, so they have to fix it anyways, I think. Conrad, all systems are still down, so Lieutenant Zimmer isn't here. Where is he? Oh, about to come shoot you. So yeah, so they still can't get the message. Mr. Mahoney has a con. Send a man and find him. I right, sir, get a side on. Oh my god. At ease, sailor. He's about to get his ship back. Thank you, Mr. Hitz. Damn it, Vigo. Ready, sir. Let's get on with it. Dog's right. Yeah. Follow me, please. Yes, sir. I think he knows what's going on. Yeah. But it's like, what is his plan here? Nuclear holocaust beyond imagination. So it's all about knowing. The only way we're going to know is if you fix that radio. You understand? You were the only thing stopping nuclear holocaust. 
now. It's all up to you. I know that's a shitty deal, but you got it. All right, Captain. That is a huge task. I wonder where he's going to be when this all happens, when they end up... Oh, well, he's back here. Yeah. And you officers are chiefs. Stand with me now. Gave away the keys, though. Propulsion has been restored. All flooding has been contained. Lock them up in the officer's mess. Go if that one hurts the most. Take your depth to 150 feet. The wrong key, right? Is that maybe what he did? So he, oh, can't, maybe. he can't launch the, the nukes no matter what. Mr. Zimmer is the new XO. Set condition 1S. Fuck you, Zimmer. The use of nuclear weapons has been authorized. Come on. What if Rachenko surrendered and it's over? All right, what do these keys do? Oh! Come on, you know the drill. Oh, yes! Open the door. Look, my nose. <laughs> I never liked him, sir. I never liked him. And four caps. Oh my god, it's a mutiny, mutiny, mutiny. Let's go. It's not like Hunter doesn't want to launch. He just wants to make sure he's supposed to. Approaching launch depth. Very well. I mean, there's no clear cut answer in this because they don't have the radio signal. Right. So it's... And the last communication was to launch. But he made a good point where they're not going to be the only people ready to launch. Right. They have redundancy. So they don't need to be crazy without the full picture. I feel like the captain is a little trigger happy. Oh, for sure. It's like he's going to be in the history books. Calm, weapons. Estimated time to missile launch. Three minutes in. Three minutes you're the only one that knows the combination. It's up to you, Webs. It's up to you. Oh, God, Webs. Are you calm? Yeah, sort of. Get the radio fixed, boss. Well, I could have built one by now. <laughs> I could have built one. Well, how much time do you need? Yeah, you're not really helping him. Just let him work. Missile tubes one through five and 20 through 20. This is crazy. Missiles are ready for launch, sir. Remove the tactical firing trigger. Don't do it. Unlock the tactical firing trigger. I'm gonna launch from missile control. Western Guard, sir. Doherty, come with me. So he just left his key up there? I'm gonna fire from missile control. We're traveling to crawl space. Yeah, they could just go back and take out the other key. <laughs> it is my duty to. Son, don't talk to me about duty. Open the fucking safe! I mean, if he won't open it, what, what can they do? I don't know. There's nobody else that knows it? I don't think so. It's just him. I can't do that, sir. How does this solve your situation? Then I'm gonna blow your fucking head off. One. You kill him, you don't get inside. It does me no good to kill you. You're the only one that knows the combination. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's gonna threaten to kill someone else. Oh, crap. Doesn't know the combination. Oh my god, I did not see this coming. Sir! Man, what are you doing? God. Hopefully he's stalled long enough. Initiate fire. Hey, hold it. Move, move, move. Oh, yes. Number one did not fire, sir. Sir, the captain's key has been removed. Gotcha. You're a piece of shit. Really? Mr. Vosler, it's Captain Kirk. I need warp speed on that radio. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Vosler. Oh, shit. Reattach that lead. Oh! Come on! Man, Hunter's gonna look real stupid if it says launch. <laughs> Raise the VLF radio antenna. Raise the VLF antenna, aye, sir. Can they not shut the doors to that area? Right, to this People area? People stop coming in? Come on! Oh, no. Shoot me! Shit! No one's shooting anyone! Give me the missile key, Mr. Hunter. I'm the commander of this fucking ship! You're a psycho. You got three minutes, Bossler. Three minutes and counting. Yes, sir. Or what? This is weird. They're just gonna sit here and wait. Come on. I mean, they both got guns. At the end of three minutes, if you want to shoot, let's shoot. Just kill everyone up there? You just stick a cattle prod up their ass and you can get a horse to deal cards. 
It's the conversation you enjoy. Please, dude, you're stressing me out. There you go, there you go. Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god. I want to pause the movie. <laughs> Receiving flash traffic, emergency action message. Fuck yeah! Get that EAM. Alright, sir. God help you if you're wrong. If I'm wrong, then we're right. Same. Yeah. Why does he want to be right? Request permission to authenticate, sir. Permission granted, authenticate. Looks like it says canceled. Yeah. Looks like you're a fucking crazy asshole. Crew of the Alabama. Terminate launch. All missiles. Don't act like you're all friends. Half of you should go to jail. Screw you! Yeah. Mr. Hunter has the con. You are outdated. Literally almost started a nuclear war. And they surrendered quickly. This is Richard Valeriani for CNN. Oh, I didn't realize his dog was there. I'm prepared to make my recommendations. Without my testimony, sir? You have a problem with that? Kind I of. Might, sir. If he is lying, this will be the first I've heard of it. You were both right. You were also both wrong created one hell of a mess your actions aboard the alabama were consistent with the best traditions of the navy oh okay ramsey's request for early retirement from active duty good on captain ramsey's recommendation hunter be given his next command at the earliest possible convenience okay <laughs> you wish to challenge these recommendations <laughs> all good with that captain ramsey no sir at least he realized he was wrong, retired, and then gave a recommendation to Hunter. Just wanted to say thank you. You were right and I was wrong. About the horses, the Lippenzotters. They are from Spain, not Portugal. <laughs> oh my god. That's what he was wrong about. <laughs> right. Oh, that's the best he's gonna get out of him. Yeah. Okay. Good thing they made a change. All right. That was Crimson Tide. What'd you think? I loved it. That was incredible. Absolutely not what I thought. It was, I mean, obviously a sub movie, but for it to be pretty much just all in one sub, like Americans versus Americans, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, this wasn't like a war per se, because it was more like a civil. It was, yeah, it was a war. mutiny. It was yeah. all about the mutiny and the, the struggle between the captain and the XO. I mean, obviously the outer story is the tension with the Russian rebels, but it was pretty much just between Denzel and Gene Hackman. And they were both fantastic. Incredible. I mean, there was a lot of people in this film. Yeah. But the acting and how tense they were able to make this was incredible. I think I was like shaking in my chair for a good like half of the film at least. Uh, yeah, I mean the majority of the movie is just stressful because the consequences are nuclear war. Yes. That's no small thing. And it was so stressful because you're constantly getting updates. It's yeah. like 30 minutes left before they finish or their weapons are ready, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. and, and then you have weps for their own internal weapons of being like weapons ready in 10 minutes. So it's just, Every few minutes you're getting updated on how stressful everything is and that just keeps everything at like the top anxiety level. Yeah, and I think the fact that we also didn't know what the answer was. Obviously, this looks like it's based on true events, so. You think? No. I don't know. It says as of 1996. I just know? assume maybe they just made a decision before anything bad happened, or maybe this actually, some small scale, something like this actually happened, like a dispute between Captain XO or something. All right, maybe not. Cause for me, I was thinking, okay, maybe this is based on a real event. So I was like, there's no way that we had said, yes, go ahead and launch. Right. So in the back of my mind, I was like thinking the entire time that Hunter's correct, but I see what you're saying. Like, it's almost unbelievable to think that the movie would have ended with Hunter being wrong. Yes. So it's easy for to go through the movie, and I feel like I was definitely pro Hunter and being yeah. like, let's get a clear idea of the picture and stuff. But there are elements to Ramsey's side that look, they got the go ahead already. It's not like he's just making a decision out of thin air. Mm -hmm. They got the go ahead. They were in a situation where they lost communication, and if they didn't strike first then the consequences would have been more severe. So there are elements of Ramsey being correct, but at the end of the day, he's a psychopath. <laughs> I think to what was 
crazy on the timing of everything is if they had lost communication before they had even received that partial message, they would have just assumed to move forward. That's very true. I, I, I think at that point, Hunter would have agreed with Ramsey's decision to be like, well, we haven't gotten any other message. So they would have just continue operating as if they were going to launch. Yeah, I don't think that Hunter would have been like, wait, we are we lost communication, so we need to gain it back to make sure there's no message. Like right. the fact that they got a partial message is what drove Hunter. That's a very good point because I think it's very clear that whether one of them was right or wrong, they were going to accept the outcome. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty much the second that Ramsey finally realized, oh, abort, it's not like he was, was like, do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know, so he was crazy to a certain level, but he still was a captain and still understood that, oh no, these are now our orders. Everyone was very much orders based. It's just, how do you kind of flow, interpret it? Yeah, interpret those orders and stuff. Yeah. So that's that's interesting. Yeah, that would have been a much different movie. It would have been like, oh yeah, that's the last message we got. Fire, and then that's the end. Yeah, I do think though that Ramsey was jumping the gun on it because he was trigger happy. I understand that he received the orders, but I do think that he was not upset to get those orders. I think it goes back to kind of that conversation that they're having like dinner, like the first night or mm -hmm. whatever. And Ramsey kind of describes himself as simple and Hunter is complicated. Mm -hmm. So Ramsey is like, get order, do order. Yeah. And even though Hunter is get order, do order, there's that gray area, that little complication of okay, is this the correct order? You're not just supposed to blindly follow anything. Yeah. So I think Ramsey's definitely, you know, I was told to launch nukes, I'm gonna launch nukes at all costs. Yeah. But Hunter was a more complicated person. He viewed things a little bit differently. It just, Ramsey's style is a little outdated. A little old school. A little, yeah, old school. Even like some of the conversations and stuff where it's like, training a horse, just a cattle prod up the ass or whatever he said. It's like, he has one way of doing things and that's just like through brute force, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Whereas Hunter is has a lot more finesse. So it was kind of interesting to see that play out with everything. Yeah, and I thought it was also interesting that Ramsey kind of looked into Hunter more and Hunter's never actually been at war. Right. So I think that probably also played into just their total difference of opinions on what to do. Hunter is like a newbie when it comes to actual combat. And making those tough decisions. Yes, obviously as a very critical thinker, we gathered that right from the start of the film that he's just very intelligent. Right. Not to say that Ramsey's not, but Ramsey is definitely in war and he's been in it for probably his entire career. So they're just very different people. So I feel like their interpretation of what to do, I mean, that's why it was so different. Yeah, I mean, they're both very strong, smart people, but their differences made them butt heads. Mm -hmm. And that was so incredibly stressful to see that play out. Yeah, and I mean, we had a hard time and we said it a couple of times, we had a hard time figuring out and reading Ramsey. Did he like Hunter? Did he like him from the beginning? I don't really know. And it didn't actually, when it comes down to it, taking out everything that happened in terms of the actual launch. Right. I really don't think that he actually liked him very much. I don't think so. Um, but I think there was enough respect there. Yeah. Especially at the end for Ramsey to retire and then recommend Hunter for the earliest promotion. Yeah, because I don't think that Ramsey, like you said, Ramsey was able to accept that he was wrong when they got that order. Right. I definitely thought it was very interesting to see how the crew was being split. Yes. Um, obviously, Hunter is new, and he really only knew Webs. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, so that was interesting to see people's loyalties. I think especially when it comes to Cobb. Cobb was a very interesting character to me, and I liked him. 
Um, yeah, and I like Cobb too. It was really cool to see when Cobb, you know, he took Hunter's side. Hunter went to thank him and he basically told him to F off. And he was like, no, what he was doing was wrong. Yeah, I didn't do it for you. You don't even yes. thank me. I don't like you. Like, you're a shithead. But what he was doing was wrong. And this is the order of how things are supposed to be handled. So that's why I did what I did. Yes. Yeah. So I liked that we got to see that because there were people, I feel like, that were just blindly following Ramsey like, because they'd worked with him. Yeah, like uh, James Gandolfini. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've only seen him twice on the channel so far. And he's great at being just a shithead. <laughs> uh, we've never seen Sopranos. I know that's, you know, out of this world amazing. But uh, we saw him here in True Romance. And sometimes he can just give a look on his face that's just like, oh my god, I hate this guy. Yeah. So, fantastic. Yeah, always. So my favorite character was Danny Rovetti. He just came in so clutch with Hunter when Hunter gave him the keys. Yeah. I think that was one of my favorite moments of this was when he took the keys and then he was able to get in there and break Hunter out. Right. After they were all stowed in that, I think they said the mess hall? Yeah, mess hall, yeah. Yeah, so he was my favorite, I think. Yeah, he was great. I mean, I love their almost immediate connection going over the Silver Surfer yeah. in the comic book and being like, you're supposed to act correct even in the face of stupidity <laughs> like you're correct but so and and the fact that it was the guy that he was fighting with who had the shotgun that he broke his nose and yes. stuff and they tied up now Ravetti was awesome he came in clutch without Ravetti they would have absolutely still been trapped in there yep and nuclear war and nuclear war I really liked Vossler the guy who was kind of repairing the radio mm -hmm. incredibly high stakes super stressful yeah. that was some of the most stressful moments when they would cut and you would see the message flash briefly. Yeah, I, I really wanted to pause the film. <laughs> Just so that we could read the message. <laughs> so stressful. I mean, without him, I mean, so many people, without their action, there would have been war. Um, but Vossler getting that message at the last second uh, saved everything. Yeah, like the world. <laughs> yeah, seriously, saved the world from just devastation. And... I really wanted to like Vigo, and then I really hated Vigo when he betrayed Denzel, and then I loved Vigo again, so we're all good. Yeah, that was hard. I mean, he was getting so much pressure, but it's like, you know Hunter, you know what he's doing. That was probably the worst moment for Ramsey when he threatened to shoot that other random guy. Yes. In order to get Webs to open the... I forget what they called it. Yeah, um, I don't know. What do they call it? Safe or whatever. It was, yeah, uh, yeah whatever. Open the thing. Open the thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was stressful. For me, I'm thinking like, Webs is safe. He's the only person on this sub that can open this, which I'm also thinking, that's not good. There should be some sort of redundancy. What happens if ship gets hit and he hits his head and then he's dead? Like, yeah. Okay, then you just all have to go home now. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, he was kind of immune from everything. And for Ramsey to recognize that and be like, what am I doing? Let me kill this guy. Yeah. That was, I think, a real turning point. And I feel like even when Webbs screamed at him, like, Captain, yeah. he kind of realized, like, oh, what am I shit, doing? What am I doing? Yeah. I think that was definitely his most unhinged moment. Yeah. I mean, he retires early. If he would have pulled that trigger and everything comes out the same, he's going to prison. Yep. So that's a dramatic change in his life and whoever he was about to shoot. Yeah, in a matter of seconds. So, I mean, this movie was just high stakes. Almost the majority of it was inside the sub, just mm -hmm. the battle between Hunter and Ramsey. We did have a pretty tense action sequence of them kind of dodging a couple of torpedoes and yeah. firing back and destroying the sub. Yeah, no, that was very stressful. In the past two films that we've watched, sub films, it's just been really cool to see how they maneuver things and them using like those missile... Oh, the defense, whatever. Yeah, little swirly guys <laughs> that confuse them. They're missiles or torpedo? What am I? Torpedoes. Torpedoes, okay. I didn't say missiles. It's okay. Yeah. Explodey, long tube things. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean. Those parts are super interesting to me in all three now films that we've seen. Right. So the way that they were able to maneuver, I mean, obviously Ramsey did a fantastic job 
when it first happened. Right, to but get then out of there. all the other stuff happens, and then Ramsey gets locked away, and Hunter also did an incredible job. Yeah. Even though they did get hit. And that resulted in a very tragic scene. That was like the most heartbreaking thing that happened in this movie, I feel like. Yeah, no, I was tearing up for sure. They were just trying so hard to get that to stop. And I just felt so awful also for the poor guy that was getting orders to shut. Yes, I mean, it's just terrible all around because Hunter has to give the order. It's his order. Mm -hmm. He's making the decision to kill these men, mm -hmm. that it's final. And then the men down there to see them trying so hard and struggling and they even for a moment thought that they had stopped it, but then another leak opened up. The one guy who gets hit super bad and then it just completely flows up. Um, but yeah, no, the guy who had to just lock them in there, just terrible when someone has to make that choice to just lock everyone else away for the safety of everyone else. Yeah, and it's tough decisions that have to be made in order to save the rest of the ship, but it doesn't make it any easier. That, no. was, that was really devastating to watch. Yeah, so that was the lowest point of the movie for sure. But the rest of it was just high intensity stress. Yes. Not really like action, because no one was shooting or fighting. I mean, only like punches thrown were by Ramsey to punch Hunter in the face at two times. No one was shooting anyone. No one was like physically fighting, yet I was on edge the entire time. Same. This is definitely one of those films that we need like a little heart rate monitor. A little heart rate. And then after we're done, need a little like sit down, a little breather to calm down. Yeah. Like we avoided war, thank God. <laughs> from our uh, camping chair. <laughs> right, yeah. We did it. <laughs> we saved the world. No, but this was a ton of fun. I always love these submarine movies. I feel like just the added element of being underneath, like in the ocean, just makes everything more stressful. Yeah, and we've talked about like claustrophobia is like my thing. We've seen it in a lot of films and just being in those ships. This didn't really seem as tight. Like they didn't make it seem as tight as other films. No, have. I was gonna say it actually kind of felt a little open for some reason. Yeah, I mean, when Hunter was like uh, training, and he was boxing, I was like, the fact that there's even that much space was surprising to me. Yeah, no, I mean, when we watched like Das Boat, I don't know how anyone even moves in that thing. I mean, it is cramped. Yeah. The fact that there was like a dog on board and he's jogging and running around and boxing, exactly yeah. like you said, this movie didn't add that element of claustrophobia. Yeah. But you're still a thousand feet underneath the water. Yeah, I mean, as soon as they started, you know, there was no propeller and they were sinking. And as soon as they were like 1800, like this is crushing. Right. Like, what do and you do? Like, you literally just die. There's yeah. nothing that can be done. No, you just kind of sit there until everything implodes. Mm -hmm. Terrifying. Submarine movies are always terrifying, always max stress, max anxiety, but this was a very enjoyable movie. I'm really glad that we watched it. Thanks to the patrons for voting. Yeah, absolutely. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.